I find it morally shocking that in a country as wealthy as Canada, we still have any child poverty. This is unnecessary in a country like ours. We know from the, from the Statistics Canada data that about half of the families living in poverty are, have two working parents. So they're working in very low-wage jobs, sometimes in two or three low-wage jobs, to try and make ends meet. But the, a family in Vancouver living at the poverty line cannot adequately provide for their family. So they're facing daily stress uh, in trying to provide good shelter, adequate food, uh, clothing, transportation, and uh, opportunities in life. I think the government needs to understand that it's time to get a, a poverty reduction strategy for British Columbia. Other provinces have done it. Why should we be the last ones to do that? And the argument that comes back, of course, is, well, we have no money. So that's the next question is, where do the revenues come from to do this? But we know very solid economic data in this province that poverty is costing us nine billion dollars a year in this province and we could we could get rid of poverty for four billion dollars a year so there's a profoundly sound economic case for a, a poverty reduction strategy we will save money over time by doing this so the question of course is then what do you do initially to find that money and that's going to be one of the challenges for government The first and, and perhaps the commonest thing I hear is denial. I, I often hear people saying to me, there's no poverty here. How can you say there's poverty? I've heard this from our political representatives. But when I've shown people the actual data, you know, good, solid Statistics Canada data, uh, they're pretty shocked to find that 10 to 15 percent of children in, in this province are living in poverty. They're surprised to find that 10 to 15 percent of children on the North Shore in West Vancouver are living in poverty. So initially there's often denial. But then the other thing I often hear is, well, okay, maybe there are some poor people, but you know what? They're lazy. They just don't want to work. And that's why they're poor. Well, guess what? We already talked about the fact that many of these families, these people are working hard to try and provide for their families. They're not lazy. I also hear this reaction that, you know what, if we do something about this, if we give those people more money, they're just going to spend it on booze and drugs. You know, they, I hear this all the time. It won't change anything. They won't work and they'll just spend it on, on booze and drugs. Well, there's no evidence for that either. I mean, sure, it will happen in some families as it will happen in the wealthy families. It happens throughout society. but. There's no evidence that that's going to be a major issue. Most families are out there trying to do the right thing.